Hey guys, welcome back to the Disney Cupcake channel and welcome to part two of my haul video. I'm super excited to show you guys what else I got, so let's get started. So this video is just gonna have a bunch of other random stuff that I got. Yeah, let's just get into the video. First, I'm gonna start off with one of my favorite things that I bought. Don't ask me why, but I love this thing. <laughs> I don't know who's all seen this before or not, but it's Perry, and I mean, who doesn't like Perry? He's super cute. I mean, he, it's just like a plushie, and that's what I thought until we took it to go check out, and then we figured out that it does this. It's a farting Perry plush. I'm like, I, I need that. Like, who doesn't need this in their life? I mean, it's it's hilarious. It's great. It's great to, like, prank people and stuff. Because, I mean, you, you can barely really even tell. So, if you, this is actually Velcro. And the, as you guys can see, there's, like, a whoopee cushion inside. And it, like, sticks out the end. So, you can't see it whenever his tail's covering it. Like, when he's just sitting there like that. And it is so fun. I I mean, I don't know why I love this so much, but I thought it was great, and I'm super happy I bought it for no reason, really. But it is super fun. Anyway, moving on to some of the other plush that I got. I got this cute little stitch. I got this in Tomorrowland. And it is super cute and I love stitch. And I just thought it was adorable so of course I had to get it. The next thing I got since it was Easter, I got the Easter Duffy. This is like one of the smaller ones. This isn't like the normal size of Duffy. And he's just wearing a cute little Easter Bunny costume. Next I got this Stitch Mickey. You guys may have saw in my room tour that I did have like the original Mickey. I actually got that one in 2014. So they actually released a new one while I was there. And I thought they'd look perfect together and it matches my room really well. And, and I love Mickey so that works too. <laughs> Next while I was at Disney Springs, I the tag store just opened like a week when we were like a week before we went. And I loved the tag store. Like I love all of like the travel themed stuff and I actually got this luggage tag and I'm just gonna hold it up for a second some of you Disney fans may know the little hint to this it actually says 10-01-1971 for like the little barcode and that is actually the date that Disney World opened October first 1971 and I thought that was so cool because it's like a hidden like secret that only Disney fans will catch so I thought that was super cool and it's just a basic luggage tag and I'm just using it just to kind of like lay around my room and then while we were at the Orlando International Airport I actually did see these at Disney World too but they're just Disney Park stickers they're stickers from Disneyland and Disney World and I know I'll probably be able to use those for a bunch of things. And there are a hundred stickers in here, so I actually thought that was a pretty good deal. And then of course, now when you stay in a Disney Resort Hotel, you get a Magic Band. I picked a red one this time. Last time I was there, they just released Magic Bands, and I got a pink one. I really want to collect all the colors. So there is my Magic Band. You guys probably saw that in many of my videos. And I got some of the little attachments for it. We have the Tower of Terror. Yes, there it is. We have the Tree of Life. There we go. We have the Epcot Ball, and there's actually the little monorail in front of it. Focus, please. Thank you. And then we have the Magic Kingdom Castle. Of course, one of my favorites. I actually got a bunch of keychains. I got this Hollywood Tower Hotel, like, 
room key keychain and I actually I actually plan on taking this off and putting like a set of keys on there just like to make it seem like that they like belong to the hotel I feel like they should have put a pair of keys on this just to make it seem a little bit more realistic but I guess you, I mean you are supposed to attach it to keys like your own keys but still then I got this posable Mickey figure and it's actually on a little keychain and then I got two of like the foamy keychains they're actually pretty cheap because I mean they're just like little foam Mickey heads but they're I mean they're really really cute but like if you had to like get your purchase up to like a certain amount we just bought these just to get us up to that amount and then while we were at Epcot for the flower and garden festival they actually had these little gift cards and since they're trying to make everything so much easier like with your magic band and everything we actually just bought like I think it was only like a $15 gift card just so I could have like the bracelet and it's actually a scratch and sniff bracelet and it just smells like different flowers and different fruits and stuff and I actually thought it was really cool and this is really all I wanted it for was just to wear it and I wore it like the rest of the time we were there a bunch of other people had them too so I thought it was pretty neat and then of course from the hotel you get free coasters and I actually use them in my room like whenever I'm filming and stuff I'll have water up here and everything so I figured these coasters might be pretty handy and they're free and they say Disney World on them so I got the Mind Train popcorn bucket I love this thing we actually got this while we were watching the Easter Parade and it has a good amount of popcorn in it but I thought it was so cool because it's like a replica of the ride vehicle and I just thought that was super neat just to have it just sitting around. I thought that looked super neat and the wheels actually move and if you get more than a one you can actually attach them. Next I got Lumiere. I thought this would look super cool in my room and he lights up in everything. And I just love the look of it. It is super, super nice. And they wrapped it up really, really nice since we were actually going on a plane. I thought this was just the perfect thing. And I love when they make, like, realistic stuff based from movies, if that makes any sense. But, like, I wish they'd make more, like, props from movies. Like, replicas of props from, like, the movies and stuff that they make. Because I think it's cool, like, to say, oh, you know, like... There's Lumiere, like, in my room, or, you know, I have a Lumiere. I mean, I don't know. I just think it's pretty cool just, you know, to say that you have one. And I hope Disney continues to do this because I think it is super cool. Next, while we were at Epcot, these are $5 per piece. They actually have the maps during Easter where you can actually go on a little Easter egg hunt through World Showcase. And then in the end, you get to pick out one of the eggs. So I got Minnie, Mickey, and Stitch. And... I don't know if you could do this, but we tried. We went around once, we figured out where all the stuff was. We bought two maps. I copied the stickers onto my map, and then we kind of like left for, like went up towards the front of the park, and then we went back there, turned them in, and we got two more eggs. So I could have three different ones. So I'm not sure if you're allowed to do that, but if any of you guys go during Easter, know that it's possible to, to do that, as long as you see a different person afterwards and then from the Polynesian when we went to the luau we got one of the necklaces they give them out if you purchase to go to the luau dinner and then when we went to Splitsville which was a super good restaurant in Disney Springs I highly 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 recommend going there it was super fun I actually got an icy in this bowling pin and it's, it's just fun. it's something fun to have it's different and it's refreshing Especially when you're in Orlando. I also got a bunch of the collector packs with like the little figures. I have them all sorted in the series. I couldn't tell you what ones I got from there, but I know for sure I did get a bunch of new ones. Next I got two stitch prints from the Market Co-op. I thought they were super cute and I thought they'd be really fun to have in a little picture frame. Next when we were at Epcot, I love Icy's. Like, I love ICs. You guys may have saw in my toy hunt and in all my videos, I had an IC in just about all of the parks. And if they had a collector cup, I tried to get it. Okay, this bottom won't snap on right now because it's being mean to me, but you guys get the point. It's a little test track, like, traffic cone. And I thought that was super cool, and the IC was really good. They, have a little, they actually have a bunch of icy stations throughout the park. Next, a lot of you guys asked me about this in like my room tour and stuff on where I got these magnets. I got them at Disney World and they have them like everywhere. Like all the gift shops we were in, they had these and 
they're really really nice magnets and they look real like here is one of the Mickey Mouse cookies and they actually did like the whole spray paint on the back and everything to make it look as real as possible uh, we have a Mickey Mouse lollipop it's actually wrapped in plastic next we had got a Disney cupcake when I saw these I just had to get it and then we got a Mickey Mouse candy apple next you guys may have saw in vlog 5 I got the Mickey Mouse kitchen sink these are available at Beaches and Cream and at the little ice cream parlor on Main Street USA at the Magic Kingdom. It's good to store stuff in. You can still like wash it and eat out of it. You can do whatever you want with it. Whenever I saw that they actually had that online, I had to make sure I got it. It was actually a pretty decent price as well. Then I got one of the pressed coin books and of course I got a lot of pressed pins while we were there. That's also something fun to do. Something else I collect actually because I have a couple other pressed penny books in my closet. And then of course you have to have an autograph book and a 2016 pen to go with it because you know you can't leave Disney without a pen. I have one of the I'm Celebrating pins. They actually gave these to us. And next, one of the last couple things. I actually made this binder. I did not get this binder from Disney. And I just decorated it and everything. These are actually the Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom cards, which are available for free. It's just one of the free things you can get at Disney. And it's cool because they have all your favorite characters on them. You can actually play the game, but we ended up not playing the game this time. Make sure you like this video and subscribe if you're not already. So you guys can see more Disney World haul videos, more trips, more tips. Hopefully more videos in the near future. This is my last 2016 Disney World video. I really enjoyed my time at Disney. I love shopping for merchandise and I really enjoyed filming this for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thanks for subscribing, liking, and watching all my vlogs and haul videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!